Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. Blizzard confirmed that Hearthstone Balance Patch 26.2.2 is coming out on Thursday, and they also teased all the buffs and nerfs that are coming in the patch. So the patch is going to give a bunch of battleground changes and a bunch of standard changes. As for battlegrounds, well, it was kind of Dragon Beast meta out there, and Banana Slammer, Mama Bear, the most powerful dragons, they're all getting nerfed, some elementals and stuff is getting buffed, so... Alright, quite a few changes there. It's hard to talk about the Battlegrounds meta too much yet, because we're still getting more tribes in, we just got demons in yesterday, so it's really tricky to evaluate, but definitely beasts and dragons were doing really, really well. Okay, that's for Battlegrounds, but what about standard format? For standard format, Blizzard is going to have 8 nerfs and 6 buffs. Some of these are a little, a little curious. Well, let's take a look at what cards are changed behind these teasers. So, first of all, the nerfs. Demon Hunter is getting hit big time, because nerfed cards include Sinful Brand, Predation, and Felscale Evoker. So basically, pretty much all Demon Hunter decks are getting hit. Outcast Demon Hunter probably getting by the best out of these. Spell Demon Hunter, well, Sinful Brand nerf is really going to hurt that. Big Demon Hunter just became a thing. I currently rated it as the second best deck in the game. And its best card is Felscale Evoker, and that's also getting nerfed. So definitely, these are some of the very best cards in the class, and these are going to make many Demon Hunter decks a little bit weaker. Then we have the long-awaited Druid nerf. Nerf to Anubrekan is coming. What kind of nerf is that going to be? Will he still be able to combo Anubrekan with something? What combos are going to be disabled by this patch? We don't know yet, but Anubrekan is going to be hit. Scribbling Stenographer is going to be hit. I mean, that's a Miracle Rogue nerf. Miracle Rogue hasn't really been a problem outside of like very high top legend, so I'm not sure why they had to do it, but all right. Some Miracle Rock nerfs, and High Cultist Bass Alive. It was just buffed, and now it's getting nerfed. Poor High Cultist. Undead Priest is a strong deck. I'm not sure if Undead Priest is so strong that it really warrants a nerf, but okay. They are hitting many of the strongest decks here, like on a pretty wide spectrum, really. Demon Hunter has multiple strong decks. They're getting hit. Druids are getting hit. Rogues are getting hit. Priests are getting hit. And finally, the best deck in the game is getting hit, because Unholy Death Knight, the best deck in the game, and these two are possibly the two strongest cards in the deck. Battlefield Necromancer, it was buffed earlier. When it was buffed, I really questioned why, why is this card buffed? It's already a great card, it's not the problem at all. And then it just became a super card, and now they're nerfing it again. So, when it was buffed, it was changed so that corpses are one trees, and they used to be one two, so we'll see if it's going to be a revert or what. And then Blightfang just punishes you for playing a board against Unholy that night. You get a board, then suddenly your board becomes a liability. If they can just fight back against that board a little bit, then they will get an even bigger board. So, yeah, these two getting hit. Frost Death Knight is not getting hit. Frost Death Knight is doing pretty well at the moment. Blood Death Knight is not getting hit. Blood is doing a little weaker than Frost, though. There are also no nerfs to Hunters, no nerfs to Shamans, like Totem Shaman. So some of the strong decks are still going to be allowed to continue, but this hits a pretty big variety of the strongest decks in the game. Alright, well, nerfs, of course, they fix some outliers, they give some more competitive chances, but the very weakest decks, even if you nerf the top decks, then there's some whole bunch of mid-tier decks that are just going to take their places. What about the weakest decks? Weakest decks don't just suddenly rise to the top, but there are some buffs coming as well. And first of all, we have buffs to the two weakest classes in the game at the moment, which are Warlock and Warrior, and the Warrior buffs. Well, From the Depths is getting buffed. I'm actually a little bit sad about this, because I really, really love Warrior, but I didn't think From the Depths was... I didn't think it was interesting gameplay. It's just... Mana cheating, I hate mana cheating. I think that's... It's really random, and it's pretty heavy mana cheating, and I just don't like that playstyle at all. So, I'm a little sad that From the Depths is the best they think they can do in order to resurrect Contra Warrior, because I mean From the Depths was only played in Contra Warrior, it's a Contra Warrior card. 
I was hoping they would do some other things. Even when From the Depths was meta, I played Contra Warrior decks without From the Depths, and I was doing perfectly fine with those. They were viable. From the Depths was not a mandatory part of Warrior. It was just the most popular way to play it, but... Yeah, I'm a little sad, actually, that that is the fix to Warrior. Then they're also buffing Chorus Riff. Well, that was kind of to be expected, because originally already, when before the last balance patch, I talked about Riffs, and I talked about, hey, all the Riffs need a buff, all the Riffs are bad. They buffed two of the Riffs, those Riffs are now good, but you have to play the entire three Riff package, otherwise you don't have enough Riffs to get those finales off. So you also have to play Chorus Riff in your deck, and Chorus Riff sucks. I don't even know what it would take for Chorus Riff to not suck. I mean, at one mana it would be pretty great. At two mana I guess it would be good enough. But yeah, I I don't like Chorus Riff, but I recognize that if you want to play a Riff Package, you need this card buffed so the Riff Package becomes a thing. So we'll see what kind of buff they have coming up for that one. And then for Warlock, the buff is a buff to Symphony of Sins. I have advocated for buffs to Symphony of Sins for quite some time. I think the main problem with Symphony of Sins is that the initial discovery is super unreliable. Because there are seven options, and they do very different things. You need to hit a specific one many times, and with seven options it's just a little bit too much. I really, really hope that they will reduce the number of movements. That would be the best possible buff for Symphony of Sins. If they like touch the mana cost, then yeah, then we'll just play Symphony of Sins a little bit earlier, a little bit cheaper, but it still doesn't necessarily do what we want it to do, so that would not be a buff that I would like to see. But Warlock and Warrior both are being touched, and the Riff package Riff package is something really interesting to look for in the post-patch meta. And then we have this trio of neutral buffs. Well, Pandaren Importer. This Pandaren Importer graphic is here for a reason. It's the original Pandaren Importer. Pandaren Importer was then changed to a 3-mana card, and then there was a promise that it's going to be reverted when it rotates out to wild. But the revert never happened. So, Pender Importer, I naturally assume that now the Promised Revert is actually going to happen. Maybe they have something more in mind for it, but I expect this to be what Pender Importer is going to look like in the future. It's in Wild, so it doesn't affect Standard Format. For Standard Format, Demolition Renovator and Rotten Apple Bomb are getting buffed. That's a really, really strange pair of cards to be buffed. Demolition Renovator destroy an enemy location. There are... Well, each class has a location, but there are not a lot of locations in the game. So overall, I'm not thrilled, because I don't think this kind of tech cards that target a very, very narrow, narrow band of cards, I just don't like them. If you have to put them in your deck, then kind of the game design has already failed at that point. So then that they buff it, then that sends a little bit of a weird message. And then there's Rodan Apple Bomb. All right. I have no idea what they're going. <laughs> Why? What? Uh, I I just don't know. Who wants a rotten apple bomb anyway? Is there going to be something that is going to be enabled by a better rotten apple bomb? I just I just can't see it. So yeah, they're definitely touching. They're touching many of the cards that, according to statistics, are the best cards in their archetypes. So many of the nerfs are directed at the right cards. They are the strongest cards. If you want to nerf those archetypes, those are the cards you want to touch. They're also buffing some really relevant classes. Warlock Warrior, weakest classes in the game. Absolute, those are targets that you should buff. Rift Package, desperately needs a buff. You just have to touch the Rift. Symphony of Sins, there would be ways to make it cool. But I think that would take a bit of work. We'll see how that goes. And then, then that's From the Depths, which is kind of a desperation play. It feels to me like, hey, we have no idea what to do with Warrior here, take some mana cheating. I I just... Yeah, it, it's not my favorite card at all. And then some weird, weird neutral buffs, so... Yeah, we'll see. Because the Reef package is getting buffed, I do expect Warrior to make it out well out of this buff patch. Symphony of Sins hasn't been the one-stop win condition that maybe Warlock hoped it would be, so I don't expect Warlock to be on top even afterwards. 
Actually, I'm not sure if it's going to affect Warlock at all. It depends on the specifics of the buff. And Control Warrior might come back, but that would be the, from the Depths playstyle, which, which really sucks. And a good chunk of the best decks are nerfed, which means that the middle tier decks, the Hunters, the Paladins, the Shamans, the Mages, might have more of a chance. So, overall, I think this could work. We'll see on Thursday. Thank you for watching. Click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. And a special thanks to all of my Patreon supporters, YouTube members and Twitch subscribers who make all of these videos possible.